Welcome to Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. If you are new to our channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. So I'm Jonathan and I'm here with my 2002 Saab 95 Arrow with a manual gearbox. And I'm having some trouble with excessive engine movement and it seems like I have a torque rod bushing that is worn out. Take a look at this video clip to see some excessive engine movement. So changing the torque rod bushing is supposed to be quite an easy job, I've never done it before, but let's go ahead and jump into it together. If you look closely here in the middle of the frame you can see the torque arm, or torque rod. And uh, this will look slightly different if your car is an automatic, but the procedure is almost the same, so I haven't found any difference between manual and automatic in the workshop manual. I know that the automatic torque rod is much shorter, but it still has the two bushings, one in the rear and one in the front. So I have lifted the car slightly on one side, uh, the left side, and now I'll just go ahead and break loose the front bolts and the rear bolts. I'm probably gonna need a big breaker bar for this. And here is a torque rod arm, you see one bolt here, 16 millimeter, and then one bolt here in the front. So for the rear 16 millimeter bolt, there's definitely an issue of clearance. I can just barely fit my socket wrench here, but that means I can't loosen the bolt because then my wrench touches the gearbox. So I'm thinking of how I should proceed here. I've broken the bolt loose, so maybe I can just release the socket and then use a big wrench to hold the socket and turn it. So the front connector here to the subframe needed 18 millimeters, and you need one socket here and then to counter hold on the nut. And now you can see the front part of the torque rod is loose uh, from the connector to the subframe here. The rear part, again 16 millimeter socket, then I used one of these normal open box wrenches just to get it open. I did cheat, this is a 17 millimeter one, but uh, I just broke it loose with the socket and then used very light torque with the 17 millimeter to get it loose. The problem now is that this bolt collides with the gearbox. So I will also need to remove three small bolts up here. I only, th only think I will need to loosen them slightly. And these are 16 millimeter, one, two, and then there's a third somewhere here. So I'm just loosening them a little bit to wiggle this bracket out so I can get the bolt out from the gearbox. Yes, my hunch was correct. I only needed to loosen those three bolts slightly, and then I could get enough clearance to wiggle out the bolt from the bushing. Okay, look now at this bushing here. This is what has been causing the engine to move. Just completely shot out, you see? There's so much play here. And this is supposed to keep the engine tight towards the subframe. So we'll definitely remove this bushing, and also this one and replace them with nice polyurethane bushings from Powerflex. The part number for the rear big bushing that is almost squarish is PFF66221 and it's made by Powerflex. The front roundish bushing is PFF66-220 and that's the front one, the round one. So again, again round front one and rear square one. Okay, so pushing out the rear bushing was really easy. I just had to push it with my fingers and then it plopped out. That's how bad it was. The front one took a bit more of convincing. I think if you put it in a vise and just uh, hammer it here, you will get it out straight away. I first tried to push it by hand and then tried to use a chisel. It didn't work, but then using a hammer and then holding this to the vise and just smashing onto it should get it out. This took maybe 10 minutes of work to get out. The other one just took one second. Now, time to install the new bushings. Installing Powerflex bushings are almost always the same procedure. You take this packet of grease, open it, and then you grease a little bit on the outside of both sides. And I will also suggest a little bit of grease on the inside. Then you push the two halves together into the correct position. And then ins finally insert the metal rod through it, which will push it out and hold everything together. So do this for both the round and the square bush. Okay, so that's greased up nicely. I can now push it together. You will definitely need good rubber gloves here because uh, applying the grease is of course very sticky. Now we put a bit of grease on the steel thing here. 
I already have a bit of grease on the inside, so I don't need very much. And then we push it through. And this is the same principle with almost all Powerflex bushes for the Saab. Two halves that you press together with a metal insert. And give it a nice push and it will come out here on the other side. I think I spoke too soon. The yellow bushing is uh, in one piece. So I'll just put grease on all sides of it here and then just push it through. And then put the metal insert through it, which will expand it. Okay, we're in. This bushing took a bit more of persuasion to get in, so after giving up in frustration, I ended up uh, putting the bushing on the ground and then uh, putting the torque arm on top of it and just stood on it and jumped. And so, plop, it came in as it should. Now I'm gonna put in some grease and uh, enter this metal thing in the middle. Now look at that beautiful torque arm. All the bushes are in. Make sure that the yellow bushing is through all the way with all these little notches on the correct sides. Make sure the metal inserts are on the right places and we will now put everything back together. I'll first install the bolt here through the rear bush. Then I'll just put the front bolt together with a nut and then I'll tighten the three small bolts that hold the bracket and then I'll torque everything down. Okay, so the bolts are back and I've torqued them down. This is a torque spec here, torque spec here, and the torque spec for the bracket. So the difficult part here was actually get the front hole aligned with the bolt that should go through. So what I did was to loosen the bracket even more, and then uh, uh, tap it on here with a rubber mallet just to get everything in the right place. But now it's all done, and you can enjoy your wonderful Powerflex bushings here on the torque rod, and hopefully we'll get to see some results for this. And when all of those bolts have been torqued down to spec, the job is done. This was quite an easy job. There were some steps that were slightly more difficult, but just follow this video guide and you will do it in no time at all. There's no more slack in the drivetrain, and when uh, engaging the cruise control, there's no more big clunk. All in all, you don't need many special tools, just the right size sockets and a torque wrench. So I hope you liked this tutorial on how to change the torque rod bushings on your Saab 95. If you have any questions about this procedure, or if you have anything to add that I missed, please feel free to leave a comment below. You can also follow us on social media. We have Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit and Instagram. All links down in the video description. So I'll see you in the next Saab video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.